I know you're angry. You should be. But I had to do it. Is this some sort of apology, or you need to get something off your chest? I want you to try and understand. Understand? What you did was beyond... I know. Un you're not only the First Lady and an ambassador, you're also my wife. In what order? Oh, come on, Claire. I said what I said for him. Not for myself, not for us. Felt we owed him more than a few false words. So you want me to forgive you to say that it was okay? No. Because I can't do that. I'm not asking you. Then why are we even discussing it? Because I want you to know why. I don't care why. I don't care what your reasons are. There is no reason that can possibly convince me that you should have sabotaged a peace plan we spent months on. It was a political mistake. Yes, I admit that. But if I had said nothing, his death would have meant no, nothing. No, not death. Don't give him that. Suicide. No. Something undeniable. I was not going to try and deny it. I don't even understand that. If you'd give me a chance... I gave you a chance with the recess appointment, with the resolution, with handling Corrigan. He didn't have a choice, Francis. We cornered him. He did have a choice. Not in his mind. No one forced him to protest in Moscow. And we sure as hell didn't ask him to tie your scarf around his neck. If you had spoken to him and heard what he had to say... Oh, what? I would have had some moral epiphany? Yes, you I would have. I don't think so. Because I'm the President of the United States, and I can separate the big from the small. He wasn't small. He was a coward, and I'm glad he's dead. He had more courage than you'll ever have. Do you really want to discuss courage, Claire? Because anyone can commit suicide or spout their mouth in front of a camera. But you want to know what takes real courage? Keeping your mouth shut, no matter what you might be feeling. Holding it all together when the stakes are this high. We're murderers, Francis. No, we're not. We're survivors. If we can't show some respect for one brave man and still accomplish what we set out to do, then I'm disappointed in both of us. I should have never made you ambassador. I should have never made you president. <laughs>